Hello, welcome to week two of Camp Nano July. It's still early in the morning and I'm choosing a cold drink to start my day. To briefly recap, uh, the first seven days of the challenge, I was traveling for most of that time. I wrote a bit on my phone and when I returned on my laptop as well, which amounted to 477 words. It isn't a lot, but I'm glad I wrote at all. And spoiler alert, I wrote even less this week, but that's okay. The reason I am journaling in the mornings is to gather myself and prepare for the day and the week I had. This little journaling session helped me feel better a little bit. At the end of this session, I added a little fox sticker next to the date to spice up the page a bit. Next, I check in with my digital to-do list. And then it's time to write. I'm slowly working on my urban fantasy project. I am making my way through the beginning of chapter 3. This project is coming along very slowly, but I am not forcing myself to write a lot each time I sit down to do so. I am taking it day by day and want to see where that takes me. I only wrote 103 words. After that, I'm taking a moment to update my nano tracker as well. Welcome to day 9 of Camp Nano. I go through my morning routine first before I do any kind of writing. As you may have noticed, I tend to do a lot of journaling and today is no different. I take some time to reflect of what I'd like to achieve today. And after that, I do some Japanese learning that helps me focus for the rest of the day. I take off another to-do item and then get a drink to refresh myself. And finally, I get a few words in. After that, I do some editing. On day 10, I got up really early, got myself a coffee, and sat down to journal as usual. The first few things I do every morning don't change very much, so it might be a little bit repetitive. But this is a little proof of how I built a habit of journaling. It ties in with my writing habit as well. However, I haven't been able to write a lot in the past few months, so I hope this challenge will help me build that habit back up again. After going through my morning routine, I switched to writing, finally.
I am still working on chapter 3 and it's coming along slow. I wrote only a few words that time. Took a moment to update uh, NaNoWriMo Tracker and then switch to doing some Japanese. After that, I updated my planner to see what I've done so far today. I also wrote in my project notebook for my Camp Nano book. I felt inspired, so I took out my sketchbook and I drew my main character from the book I'm writing. Her name is Reina. I haven't drawn much in quite a while, so it was really nice to do this again and draw my own character. It's the next day. I was really inspired by drawing Reina yesterday, so I picked uh, up another reference, this time Chopper from One Piece, and I will draw him in a second.
After that, I did another fan art, and this time it's Happy and Charla. After some drawing, I sat down to do some work on my computer. I was planning some videos for YouTube. Later in the day, I updated my nano tracker as well. On day 11, I wrote 151 words. The next few days, I didn't write much. One day was gloomy, another I went for a walk. Thank you for watching and see you in my next video.